Okay, YouTube, I'll be coming to you today just with some a little bit of talking. Um, last night, one of my favorite uh, silver pours, Hi Ho Silver, subscribed to my channel. So I'm very uh, honored with that. Thank you, Hi Ho. Hope you're watching this. Um, hopefully, I'll be pouring very shortly, soon, by the end of the year, hopefully. Um, and I'll be showing my first pour when this happens and all, maybe not all of my pours, but hopefully my, as many pours as I possibly can do. But, um, uh, I'd like to talk about that, about my stack, how it's moving from an investment stack to a, um, a collection stack. Even though I'm moving to a collection stack, I'm still going to be uh, stacking silver for investments, not just uh, collections. When I picked up this Panda, that's when I mostly uh, realized that I wanted to start stacking for a collection because these Pandas are just gorgeous they're very very good looking uh rounds um and that's also said when i picked up this uh year of the goat bar the other day it just it, it appeals to me so much and it it's part of the collecting and i never thought i would be uh stacking for a collection but over the past few months of finding different uh, rounds and coins and different bars, like for this one, for instance, this is, I mean, this is awesome. It's a uh, skeleton Indian, and I don't think I've seen anything like this online. So when I saw this at the coin shop, I just had to pick it up. It's really cool. And uh, hopefully in the near future, I find some more really cool uh, pieces. My uh, favorite round though would have to be my first silver coin, the silver eagle that I have here. And it's, it's, it's got some really nice uh, uh, toning to it. It's, the camera just doesn't do it justice, honestly. But that is really the only toned coin that I have. So that way, so that's why I have this Indian head right here. The past four days or so, I've decided to continuously carry it with me. Not always, like I wouldn't carry it to work, but I carry it around and finger it as I would go through the house or if I go to the store, I carry it with me. And hopefully it starts to tarnish because I just love that tarnished look of uh, silver. It just looks old and not necessarily antique. It To me, it looks like it's an antique, but silver antiqued is a total another thing. Antique silver looks good, but I think the tarnished look of silver looks even better. I know Silver Slacker, he really, really enjoys the antiqued silver. There's a lot of pieces that are really good antiqued. Me, I I don't really care for coins or bars antique, but when I see poured silver antiqued, that's really where it hits the beauty right there. That's where it becomes a piece of art. But when you when you see an antique coin or an antique bar or something, it's there. It doesn't really show too much of. To me, it looks just like it's a gray piece of silver, but when you see it on poured silver, it just it pops out that much more. Well, I'd say that's about it for today, guys. Um, if you uh, enjoyed my video today or any of my other videos or have even seen any of my videos, check out my channel, 
hit the subscribe button for more and uh, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment if you got any questions. All right, catch you guys later.